It is my great pleasure to welcome you at the eighth edition of Genealogies of Memory Conference. I would like to offer a warm welcome to our guests from outside of Warsaw, since I know that a great number of you traveled far to be with us today. At the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, we want to use our projects to encourage and support a responsible and honest uh, discussion on the past. Guided by certain principles such as openness, obje objectivity, mutual respect to different national and other uh, sensitivities. We strive to build upon and, and expand the already existing vibrant community of those interested in 20th century history and remembrance. We hope that this conference will prove to be an inspiring and useful exchange of ideas for all of us gathering here today. Over the years, the ENRS has developed several major networking, educational and cultural projects, not to mention a wide range of one-time events and initiatives. Although, although uh, it, it is not possible to go into details about all our activities, I encourage you to learn more about them from the ENRS booklet in your conference materials. Thank you for that. While we have come a long way, Genealogies of Memory, one of our first initiatives, remains to hold a special place among our activities. Launched in 2011 under the sup supervision of Dr. Małgorzata Pakier and Dr. Joanna Wawrzyniak, the project allows us to address complex aspects of 20th century history vital for contemporary memory studies. It makes me proud that this conference has become a reference point for many when it comes to reviewing recent developments in international research on social and cultural memory. I will leave it to Dr. Małgorzata Pakia to expand on the project significance in a moment. This year, genealogies of memory will focus on the dynamic and multi-layered multi connections between memory and religion, subject previously rarely addressed in greater detail within the memory studies. The concept was developed by Dr. Zuzanna Bogumiu and Dr. Yulia Yarchuk, to whom I would like to extend sincere words of gratitude. Thank you very much. Dr. Bogumiu and Dr. Yarchuk will tell you more about this edition edition's idea later on. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like, and it is my duty, to express my gratitude to the following co-organizer and partners of this year, Genealogies of Memory. The Institute for East European Studies at the Freie Universität in Berlin, the Institute of Sociology at the University of Warsaw, the Maria Grzegorzewska Pedagogical University in Warsaw, uh, the Södertörn University in Stockholm. Thank you for your trust and engagement. I would also like to thank ministries finan financing the activities of ENRS, Ministry of Culture and National Heritage, 
of the Republic of Poland, Federal Government Commissioner for Culture and the Media in Germany, Ministry of Human Capacities of Hungary, Ministry of Culture of the Slovak Republic and Ministry of Culture and National Identity uh, of Rom Romania. Finally, I would like to thank Ms. Uh, Karolina Dziewak, the event coordinator on behalf of the ENRS, uh, as well as uh, Madeleine Hartmann, Jagna Jaworowska, and other members of the ENRS team involved in preparation for this event. The conference would not be possible without their hard work and dedication. Thank you. Thank you for your attention and for being with us today. I hope you find these three days to be filled uh, with fruitful and meaningful discussions. And now I would like to invite Dr. Małgorzata Pakia from ENRS, one of the genealogies of memory program coordinators. The floor is yours. Good morning. <clears throat> so on behalf of uh, Joanna Wawrzyniak, who could not be here, and uh, myself, uh, I would like to once again welcome you at the eighth conference in the cycle Genealogies of Memory in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, the project was initiated by the conference in 2011, as was said, and since then developed as annual conferences and monthly seminars. And the goal of the project has been twofold both to facilitate academic exchange between Central and East European scholars, as well as to promote this region's study and memory among the broader international uh, academic community. What is specific to the conferences and seminars held so far uh, is, on the one hand, an attempt to define the specificity of Central and Eastern Europe as regards history and memory in the 20th and the 21st centuries, and on the other hand, a proposal to see the region's history and the memory processes in a broader European and global context and to search for a possible application of memory studies from this region within the broader international study. We are particularly interested in theoretical and methodological questions as viewed against specific historical and geographical contexts. Another characteristic of the project is to approach memory with historical sensitivity. Research on memory should bear in mind the tight relation between history and memory. Historical experience shapes particular ensuing memory processes, as well as memory shapes and changes in time. We believe in a creative consensus that comes from combining the two perspectives, historical research with memory research. These ideas were taken up during the first two conferences. The conference in 2011 considered the relation between the canonic theoretical concepts of memory and the specific mnemo, uh, historic experience of Central and East European societies. We asked whether the existing matrix of theories that we commonly use and which in large measure were designed to interpret the memory processes in the Western societies, could adequately describe memories and public uses of the past in our region. And conversely, by presenting the original ideas of scholars from this region in the broader European context, we wondered what relevance those ideas might have for broader memory studies. The issues of how adequate and how limited particular memory concepts may be when applied to other societies were also relevant for the conference in 2012 on regions of memory. Central and East European memories related to the experience of mass violence were discussed in the context of comparable phenomena in other parts of the world, including Southern Europe, the Middle East, Asia, Africa, and Latin America. 
regional references allowed us to observe memory phenomena that were not graspable by the national perspective, for example, migrant memories, borderland memories, ethnic minority memories, and transnational ethnic memories. After the two conferences, viewing Central and East European memories and memory studies in a global light, we moved to discuss the particular topics of memory research. The next annual conferences focused on the legal frames of memory in the context of transitional justice, the use of oral history in memory research on post-communist transformations, the relations between history and art in dealing with authoritarian regimes, and today, we begin the conference on memory and religion, an important and still insufficiently elaborated topic. I also want to use this opportunity to mention the next year conference uh, on memory and economy. The call for paper for this conference is ready and you may find some information about it in your conference materials as well. So now I will pass floor to Zuzanna Bogumiu and Julia Jurczuk, the conveners of this conference, who will introduce us with its main ideas. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now it is our way to uh, welcome you, uh, the Madam Sirs, colleagues, uh, conference participants and guests. Uh, uh, we would like also to welcome you to Warsaw and to this conference. Uh, we want us to say that it took us about a year to prepare this conference. We are honored to, that Rafał Rogulski, director of the European Network Remembrance and Solidarity, and Dr. Małgorzata Pakier and Dr. Uh, Joanna Wawrzyniak, coordinators of the program Genealogies of Memory, devoted to the, us the organization of this year's conference. It is the eighth conference, as it was said, in the Genealogies of Memory series, and probably the first memory studies conference fully dedicated to, to the problem of religion and memory. The fact that the network decided to dedicate this conference to memory and religion, we think that shows that the, grow, the growing importance of this issue for the understanding of the field of memory in the world and in general and in Eastern and Central Europe in particular. Please ask, uh, quickly present you the genealogy of this year's genealogies of memory. Probably not all of you know that we didn't know each other before the conference, and it was Dr. Małgorzata Pakier who introduces us to each other and offered us the opportunity to commonly organize uh, this conference. We are very grateful to her for it. Uh, we both started to working on memory and religion many years ago, me mostly in Russia. Already in my PhD dissertation, which was about the commemoration of Soviet repression in Russia, I analyzed distinct Russian Orthodox Church religious commemorative practices. Since that time, for more than 10 years, I am conducted my research on the Russian new martyrdom phenomenon, trying to describe its genealogy, significance, language of commemoration, and social function. And uh, I've been working on uh, the questions of, um, I'm short, <laughs> sorry. Um, yes, yeah, then uh, perfect. Uh, I've been working on the questions of memory and memory politics for more than 10 years, and I've been uh, concentrating on Ukraine. And uh, I could see that memory and religion in Ukraine are very connected, and the churches and religion uh, really influence the formation of memory in Ukraine. And now I have my own research project, which is only about memory and religion, and it's called Religion and Memory Politics in Ukraine. So in our research on religion and memory, we refer to the framework of multiple modernities, and we, um, we uh, really see the failures of the homogenizing and the hegemonic assumptions on modernity. It is very visible in Eastern Europe that uh, modernization and secularization go hand in hand with reactivation of um, the importance of religion in the society and the uh, tendencies of uh, invoking the old traditions. At the same time, inspired by post-colonial studies and subaltern studies, we uh, look on religion as a powerful system uh, which may provide continuity and renewal in times of trauma. 
uh, it is able not only to manage change in the society, but it also offers certain frames of narration. Uh, one may say that religion, uh, religious memory is an inner problem of uh, one religious group, but it is not true. In contemporary post-secular world, secular and religious systems affect each other in considerable and multiple ways, really. Um, the mass canonizations are not only a new phenomenon inside the churches, for instance, but also as a prob public phenomenon, they affect the way that 20th century is uh, remembered uh, by the societies. And uh, the holders of the r religious memory are also members of secular societies, and the way they remember the past influences, therefore, the way other memory actors, both religious and secular, refer to the past and commemorate it. Uh, similarly to this, uh, the religious texture of memory does not function in a separated vacuum, but it is um, in constant relation to uh, other commemorative <coughs> languages and practices. Uh, however, within the memory uh, studies, still little attention is paid to the questions of religion and um, its impact on cultural memory, family memory, and the formation of memory politics. Yeah, so Preparing this conference was a really great challenge for us. Even if the father of memory studies, Maurice Halbwachs, dealt with religious memory and the way the memory functions in the religious groups, and even if he showed how religion influences the memory landscapes, his reflection on religion was not precisely followed by the memory researchers. The German Egyptologist Jan Asman proposed another approach to the issue of memory and religion. Asman dealt with selected problems of memory and religion, mostly from the historical perspective, not mentioning how it works in the contemporary secularized and globalized societies. However, there have been already rich discussion on memory within religion studies. Sociologists and anthropologists of religion try to explain how social memory can be used for understanding social dimensions of religion, how religious communities are constructed through memory, how religions remember, what is the role and function of religious texture of memory. It is important to recall the groundbreaking work Religion as a Chain of Memory, written, written by Daniel Hervé Legere, who puts memory into the center of her study of religions in the contemporary secularized world. At this point, I would like to say that Professor Hervé Legere uh, welcomed our initiative to organize this conference, and he crossed her fingers for our future su success. So all in all, our overview of existing literature brought us to the diagnosis that even if there is an immense literature on religion and memory in the religion studies, these researches do not refer to the contemporary theories and concepts from the memory studies. Moreover, there is a significant absence of religion in the memory studies, and memory studies researchers only bring to refer, begin to refer to the religious studies theories. Through this conference, we would like to create a platform for common discussion of researches coming from different disciplines. Our wider goal is to introduce and consolidate re the reflection on religion within the memory studies. And uh, we have invited three renowned researchers to give us keynote uh, lectures. Uh, Professor Alexander Gajanian is uh, here. Uh, he is an expert on the religious developments in the post-Soviet Russia and Eurasia, extensively writing on reinvention of the religious traditions within traditional Orthodox churches. Uh, Professor Genevieve Zubzitsky is well known by her works on the impact of religion on national identity in Poland and Canada. Uh, she will join us later. Um, she also deals with national mythologies and the place of religious symbols in the public sphere. And unfortunately, I must say that Professor Irena Borovic uh, had to cancel her lecture because of the problems with her health. Uh, so just um, uh, note in your program that on Thursday we are starting our conference not at uh, 10 o'clock, but at 11. But you are all welcome to come earlier, and uh, we will have coffee here, and we will be here, so we, you can spend time with us. 
<laughs> so we, it's an <in> advertisement. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, just short what we will be doing during these three days. Uh, during the panel sessions, we all uh, will discuss concrete cases in which religions and memory intersects, as in the case of celebrations of centenaries, of uh, revolutions and wars. We will reflect on uses of religion in secular memory projects and analyze the role of religion in legislative and reconciliatory dimensions. Uh, moreover, we also have a special panel where the scholars will present their research in forms of movies. So welcome. And uh, we are especially proud to host a round table where the religious actors will present their original memory projects. Uh, we will close our conference with a um, uh, round table with experts. And so we hope it will be a beginning of new conceptualization of religion in the realm of memory studies. Uh, we are convinced that this conference is only the first step of our work in memory and religion. And once again, we wish to express our gratitude to all participants for coming to Warsaw, to our keynotes, uh, commentators, chairs, speakers, uh, translators who will work during the round table. Uh, we would like uh, one more time acknowledge initiators of the conference and the network. And uh, they supported us in every step, really. And uh, finally, we would like to say great, great thank you to Karolina Jelak. And uh, she is really the best organizer we have ever met. And please uh, pay attention here. She is here. Because, because Carolina is the person to whom you have to look for if you have any problems. <laughs> she is a problem solver, really. Thank you. And uh, she has a great team. I, I am so uh, like uh, afraid to not mention someone, but I just will try because they all helped like immensely. It's uh, Madeleine Hartmann, Jagna Jaworowska, Małgorzata Fuset, uh, 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 and here we have uh, a great uh, team of uh, people who solve all problems in uh, technique and practical problems. It's uh, uh, she, I won't uh, mention the surnames because they are Polish and I'm not uh, really good at this, but Shimon, Antoni, Jana, Eldani, Susanna, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. And let's, let us begin, and I hope that these days will be productive, thought-provoking, and stimulating for all of us. Thank you.